How's it going, everybody? I am back with, I guess you could just call this part two of my, uh, how I make my Skater XL edit series. So I am in, this is, uh, I didn't mean to click on that. This is, uh, Wondershare Filmora X. It's the newest version of Filmora. It's super duper simple to use. And as you can see, I've imported one of my, uh, one of my clip pieces here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down. It is only a 720 clip. I'm still just going to keep this at a 1080 because I don't feel like going back through and changing all of my stuff right now. So the basic way that I go about editing all of my clips is starting out by splitting them all apart. Because as you can see, it's all one video file here. You see? All one video file. All my clips all together for a total of four minutes and 12 seconds. So now, after we get in here, we're gonna pause there at right when the clip starts, and we're simply gonna split. And then we will delete that section, and all of our clips are gonna shift right back to the beginning. Boom, clip. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna watch through until we get to the end of this clip right there and we'll just split it again now this one clip all on its own is finished we can move it down I do recommend using a second channel so you can we'll say oh control command Z my bad I split then delete Then we can kind of cruise ourselves back here. Watch this clip for a second. So we come to the end of the clip. And then we can split. Move you down. That clip is finished. And we literally just keep repeating this process. Keep going. Keep repeating the process. See if you miss it a little bit. Filmora has this awesome little dragger tool right there. All you got to do, drag that guy there, delete that clip. And now as you can see, this is all still the same clip. We can even cheat a little bit. If we don't want to watch the whole thing, we're going to skip forward. And we'll go back a little bit because we missed it. End of the clip. Split. Move you down. Now we'll go back to the beginning of this video clip here. And you can see all the dead space is gone. All of my clips are separated so far from what we have. And they're all just plain skate clips from there you can go on and add your effects add whatever transitions you want to add and you know whatever you're gonna do add it on from there but this is my main export main edit how I split all of my clips apart how I clean all of my stuff up there we go that's the basic rundown so uh, that was the quickest thing I've ever made it was super easy. Pretty much every video editing program is either going to have a split in your right-click menu or you can come up to your file, your edit, your tools, wherever. You'll find a split, split clip, something. I accidentally clicked elements, so now it's going to freeze up and load for a second. There we go. You'll find something that says split clip or split or something to that effect. It's going to be the same general rule of thumb across the board. Now, if you want to get like super in-depth technical with your edits, I don't suggest Filmora because it is a pretty basic editing program. Very basic effects, very basic transitions, stuff like that. If you want to get really in-depth with it, I suggest getting into the whole Adobe suite. And, you know, you can create transitions and create effects and things like that in After Effects and, and you know, all of that is just easily movable between programs. I do use Adobe Premiere Pro for if I'm trying to do some more complex effects. If I want to like fisheye some of my things, Adobe works better for their, you know, they have just in general more polished up transitions, polished up effects, things to like that. So as far as that's concerned, Filmora will work great for your basic video editing needs. But that's i mean that's really it now i guess i could from here on time lapse the rest of this 
of me cutting this all up so you can see from the 4 minutes and 12 seconds that it started with my raw outputted clip from my PlayStation to see how much that trims down in the end. So I guess I'll do that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll time lapse from here and we'll see what happens. So I'll see you all at the end of this when the time lapse is over. All right, that is that's gonna do it for the uh, for that little edit. But uh, as you can see, all I'm left with are my raw clips, no filters, no editing effects, no transitions, nothing. But all I did was go through and clip out all the shit in between, leaving clean skate clips. There might still be a little bits of things here and there that I tweak before I make the final edit, obviously. And effects and transitions and titles and music, all of that comes later. But this was just basic how to export your clips, part two, because there's always a ton of shit left in between those clips if you don't get in there and cut it all out. Nobody wants that. So this was that was it for this, though. So I'm going to be out. Thank you all for watching this. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you at all, let me know down in the comments. And like and subscribe for more Skater XL edits coming soon, live streams coming soon, whole bunch of shit. So, peace.